All right, YouTube subscribers, my name is Ray Sean, known as Ray Niz on Facebook, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what's going on is that I'm showing you guys my 50 Toys Bear Day, Hampton Bay and Huntington Ceiling Fan. Now, I got this Ceiling Fan off of eBay for I forgot how much I paid for it, but I can always go back and look and see how much I paid for it. Now, this is the rare ceiling fan. Now, this is one of the rarest ceiling fans I have saw right here because I don't find too many Bear Day ceiling fans around. So, um, so, um, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to get my hands on a Bear Day Hampton Bay Huntington. And same thing for the Hampton Bay Huntington 2 and Bear Day. And the Hampton Bay Huntington 3 still up in the Bear Day. But um, other than that, so um, this ceiling fan right here, I got it off of eBay right here. Now, before I go a little bit more further right here, now, when I purchase this fan and stuff, only thing that's missing on this fan is the mounting bracket, but I can always go to Lowe's and get a replacement mounting bracket because the canopy seemed to look like that it actually fit a mounting bracket that go to a Harbor Breeze or a Light Tick ceiling fan. Although this ceiling fan was not manufactured by Light Ticks and stuff. So uh, I'm about to go on to tell you the information about this fan. So um, due to the fact that the file number for this ceiling fan is E127699. This ceiling fan was manufactured by Aloha, which is part of the houseware, which is part of the warehouse company called Aloha Housewares. And this ceiling fan was made in Taiwan back in May of 1997. Now, the features about this fan is that it has five reversible blades from um medium oak to maple i think that's the maple side if i'm not mistaken or maybe it might be bleached oak or something i don't know actually the blades on this fan are maple but um is that's not the finish of the um now that's not the name of the finish and stuff please let me know in the comments below so um other than that, I'm about to go on and uh, show you some of the things right here. Now, because this ceiling fan uses the pretzel-shaped blade brackets right here, so um, so because the blade brackets is the shape of a pretzel and stuff, so this is actually the later version of the Hampton Bay Huntington ceiling fan, which is something with um, the gentleman by the YouTube use name of the channel of random ceiling fans would call they have to be a Huntington 1.5. So uh, the earlier version of the have to be a Huntington uses the blade brackets. That's actually a shape of a moon. And uh, the blade brackets will actually look something like how this blade bracket will look. That's how the blade brackets will look on the earlier version of the have to be a Huntington ceiling fan. So um, other than that, and then these gloves right here, those are the bell-shaped glass right here. Now, it has the same exact finish as the globe on a Hampton Bay Courtney ceiling fan uses. So, um, I can always look up that globe and see what type of, uh, what finish that globe is on because this the same exact finish as the globe on a Hampton Bay Courtney ceiling fan. So, um, other than that, I'm about to go on and, um, uh, show you guys the uh the sticker right here so um this sticker says b right here and um then as you can see that um that the model for this fan is cd 5201 and then here's the rest of the information like the serial number and then as you can see that this fan right here, now these screws is mounted onto this on um, the section of the motor that allow you to put five blades on here. Now, if you wonder what these extra holes are for, 
these extra holes right here is to give you the option to install the ceiling fan with four blades. Like just in case if one of the blade brackets come up missing or if one of the blade brackets come up broken and instead of you replacing the whole ceiling fan, you could just install it with four blades. So um, other than that, and then it got this um, Hampton Bay tag on it. That's the Hampton Bay tag. And then it got the um, the generic wooden pulls. It got the generic wooden pulls on here. Now, um, this pull chain here is a hunter green color. This pull chain is original to the fan. This pull chain is not original to the fan. This actually went to my king of fans. Festival Supreme ceiling fan that I no longer own. That's where this pull actually went to. But due to the fact that the shape of the wooden teardrop files look similar to each other. So that's why I decided to put it on this fan right here. So um, it's really not bothering me right there. So I'm fine with that. That it got a mix match pull right here. And then as you can see, now this screw right here is actually a light switch cover screw. That's the, um, the original screw to hold the socket fell off the light socket and it got missing from when the previous owner, the ceiling fan, had this fan. So um, other than that, I'm about to go on to get off this video. So um, this is Rayshawn Willis, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube, signing out this video, and I am out.